What's up, guys, and welcome back. We're here for another episode. Um, I was gone for a uh, good four days, I believe, four days, five days. We had a uh, we went on a trip to uh, Normandy, which is in France. For all you Americans who are thinking Normandy, where the fuck is Normandy? Anyway, uh, so I wasn't I wasn't uh, on Twitter much. I uh, came back to this market. Obviously, I check my phone every now and then. Uh, but these are the um, these these are the market conditions where stepping away from the chart and especially stepping away from your computer can do uh, can do wonders. You can just you can just you can just smell it in the air, right? The air is just crisp. It's just it's just the, the it's the bull blossoming season. Everything just looks good. Everything feels good. You open your portfolio seven hundred and sixty two times a day. And it's just all time high after all time high. And we fucking deserve it, baby. I mean, we just deserve Not all of you. No, not all of you. Uh, but most of you do. Most of you deserve this. And it's, uh, it's good. It's a good, it's a great fucking feeling. Every time, every time somebody says to you, oh, you're so lucky. You just, you just think, dude, you have no clue. You have no, you have absolutely no concept of what it's like to suffer through years and years of, boring ass bear markets where you hardly make anything uh, and while there's always opportunity there's always markets uh, that will hand out money if you um, if you do your best it's just these conditions these i'm not going to say easy conditions because that is i really believe that is unfair there's quite a few people on twitter who will speak in certainties like like it's a like it's an absolute guarantee you're just going to make money for the next few months uh, and maybe even a year or so where all you just have to do is hold on to what you bought and just sell when exactly I, I, I wouldn't be able to tell you uh, because they'll, they'll say, you know, you, there, there's just no way you have even the slightest grasp of how crazy, how insane bull markets can get, which is true. Bull markets, especially, especially in crypto can get, can get really crazy, but it's all fucking vague. It's very vague. I mean, especially if you're a, a new to to markets, new to trading. That's not really advice you can you can you can work with, right? I mean, I could tell you. Look, uh, you just bought the uh, you potentially bought the um, the uh, cycle bottom, and now you just gotta hold on. So so when do you sell? Let's say you bought an altcoin and you 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 invested twenty uh, k. When do you sell it at two hundred thousand dollars or or half a million, a million? What what, what do you do? I mean, if you ten x your money, that's kind of crazy, right? I mean, in, in crypto, people will pretend it's it's nothing. They'll be like, yeah, I don't need a ten x. I need a hundred x. I need a thousand x. I don't um, I don't get out of bed for anything less than a thousand x, which is just it's just fucking retarded. Um. So in the back of your mind, always, always carry around the idea and the basic fact that markets will always be, um, they'll, they'll always, they'll always hit you with a curveball you don't expect. And that doesn't mean you should uh, trade your PL that every day you're up, you just close um, in case your trade uh, goes against you again. But you got you gotta you gotta be aware of how markets work and markets are are there to punish most people. Most people get absolutely annihilated by financial markets. So the idea that you just have to hold and you'll be fine, well that's that's it depends. It depends what you're holding. So um Anyway, let's uh, let's have a look at a few uh, at a few charts. But before we do, we're gonna do the second um, segment, a second episode of the market mastery. Um, and the second um, subject is going to be about trading the trend. So uh, let's go. Let's get it. Now, do note that I am not a trend trader, but I do uh, use trends uh, to stick to positions or stay in positions for as long as possible without getting stopped out unnecessarily, which I think is a really um, shitty thing to happen to you in raging bull markets. 
Um, so yeah, trading uh, uh, trading the the trend. Uh, I really like. Generally speaking, is and this is very generally speaking. Uh, there's obviously more than two trading strategies, but in in general, there's there's two. Uh, one which is a uh, very high uh, win rate or has a very high win rate and the other has a, a, um, a slightly lower uh, win rate which is anywhere from like say 35 to 50 or 55 percent uh, win rate whereas the other has over like 60 70 sometimes even 80 percent win rate the, the the higher win rate strategy usually has a lower r meaning for every dollar you risk you stand to gain about uh, a dollar between a, even less than a dollar and, and maybe maybe two but usually a l a less and the lower win rate strategies usually have much uh, higher r uh, however the probability or the chances of of um, those trades reaching target without getting stopped out first is um is just is just way lower um, however, to to stay in a trade for as long as possible, you have to have some sort of system, some sort of idea, or some sort of invalidation um, for your trades. You can't just go and say, "Look, right." So Bitcoin just uh, broke out. We're uh, we're all fucking happy. It broke out of a uh, diagonal uh, level, and it broke out of a, a horizontal level. So this is definitely a confirmed breakout. It even broke out the out of the level we uh, highlighted in a uh, in an earlier stream. Uh, confirmed breakout. It's all looking good. Now we're just gonna buy and just wait, right? We, we'll just see what happens. Uh, not sure where to take profit. Probably around 100k. Oh, you know what? I saw on Twitter somebody said 85k. So maybe I'll make it 85 thousand dollars. I have no fucking idea of why I would use that as a target, but. I read it somewhere, so I'll just I'll just go with it. I'll just I'll just do that because that dude probably knows more than I do, which isn't a great trading strategy to have. But anyway, I I, uh, I digress. Um, there's got to be something you can you can stick to. So trend trading uh, could work uh, before you even begin to determine whether a a market is in an uptrend or in a downtrend. I'm gonna assume you know we've spoken about this uh, many times before that an uptrend is basically defined by a bullish market structure of higher highs and higher lows, meaning that on a daily or preferably a weekly, uh, you can obviously see uh, bullish market structure, right? There's higher highs and there's higher lows. Uh, combine that with the fact that we have, left, for instance, the 200-day moving average. You could also use the 200 and uh, the, in China, they use a, they use the 250-day moving average. You can use the 52-week uh, moving average. It depends on the mark. It depends on your preference. Um, it's all um, it's all pretty uh, dynamic uh, anyway, and changes uh, changes pretty uh, pretty uh, pretty often. But um, uh, if you com combine bullish market structure with uh, price trading above the 200-day moving average, in this case, you can say with a pretty high amount of certainty that we're in a bull market or in an uptrend. Um, so right now we have both. We're above the 200-day moving average. We're putting in higher highs and higher lows. A less, we are in an uptrend. And now you want to stay in this trend for as long as possible, right? I like the saying, be right and sit tight. I like the saying, the trend is your friend, except at the end. They're all really true. And the, the, your biggest profits will come from these trades. But again, let's say you're in Doge, right? I'm in, I'm in Doge right now and it's um, it's uh, reversing kind of a little bit right now, but not nothing too uh, too worrisome. I got in at fifteen cents, right? So which is a it's a pretty damn good uh, entry. I am up right now in this trade, seventy four percent at the top of this candle. I was up for uh, almost a hundred percent. So that's a a two x. That is a good fucking trade, right? But I want to I want to stick to it because I know we're we're trending up. Um, I know that um, this isn't the end, probably. I'm not sure, but this probably isn't the end. It could be. I mean, things can change in a in a heartbeat, and that is a that is the reality of markets. And they are they will they will just cut your fucking head off without even thinking about it, man. And the idea that you're all going to make it, that we're all gonna make it, is just is just fucking Twitter bullshit. We're not all gonna make it. Most of you will not make it. I will most likely maybe not make it. 
but I'll take the challenge, man. I'll take the I'll take the challenge, and we'll just uh, we'll just see who's left uh, standing, right? It's kind of a king of the hill situation. Uh, but anyway, I I don't want to give back too much of the trade, right? So right now I've I've given back uh, almost thirteen percent on the trade, which is fine. But I don't want to see this trading back all the way to let's say uh, eighteen cents, which could could possibly happen because even though we're putting in bullish market structure. Um, this is, even though I wouldn't call this parabolic move, price movement or parabolic price action, it's not really putting in any sort of structure. It's just going fucking up vertically. Uh, so there's no higher highs and higher lows really put in place yet. You could, of course, call this a higher high as it is higher than this high, or you could potentially go down to the uh, uh, lower time frame and, um, and just look for um, the market structure but it's not really market structure to me personally. So seeing this trade back all the way down to 18, 18 cents wouldn't be unheard of. It wouldn't surprise me. But that would mean, again, that I'd give back almost 40% of my uh, of my profit, which I don't want. So what what do I do, right? Where Where is my invalidation on the trade? Uh, on the trade? Where does the trade for me potentially end? Uh, well, simply said, you just you just put in a, a, um, a moving average that is... Um, that is a lower time frame moving average, uh, right? So you could go for eight, you could go for 10, you could go for eight and 18, you could go for 12, you could go for 20, you could go for 25. People use all sorts of moving average uh, averages. It just depends on what you, what you like, what you want. Um, I use eight and 18, and I prefer to use it on the uh, four hour. Um, and I usually add to the trade when there's confluence between a support and resistance uh, uh, level, a horizontal support and resistance level, combined with uh, one of those, uh, one of these moving averages. So I would add to the trade around this level here. Uh, if it starts trading back down here and actually close uh, on the four hour, I'll probably uh, close the trade, most likely close the trade and uh, wait for it to start trending back up again uh again please do not underestimate it how how it's just markets have absolutely no sympathy no mercy for your emotions for your financial well-being they don't give a fuck not at all um to protect capital protect your capital always even even if you think we're just gonna go straight up to two hundred thousand dollars on bitcoin right uh so yeah that is a very basic concept of of trading uh the trend as long as the four hour chart in my case in my uh, this is my personal preference as long as the four hour chart start uh, trades above the uh the shorter um moving averages i'm uh, i'm happy and i'm just i'm just staying in the trade uh, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens, and uh, let's go uh, back to the charts and have a look at a few uh, trades of uh, this week. All right, guys. So instead of showing you the uh, usual ad for my friends over at Exception, I just uh, wanted to show you the product in action. the The actual product I use. I actually use this product uh, almost every day. Um, the only reason I didn't use to trade on chain is due to the fact I couldn't set limit orders. These, these freaking markets are so ridiculously volatile not being able to set a stop loss a take profit it, it that's just not for me it, it just doesn't make sense you know i don't want to i don't want to spend a single dollar where i go to bed wake up not realizing i was up over 10x and now i'm back at break even just because because i didn't have an, an, a limit order uh in place uh, I don't want to uh, buy anything and then be down eighty uh, percent five minutes later. It, it just it just doesn't it just doesn't make sense. Really, it, it doesn't make any fucking sense. You can be glued to the screen all day. Um, just don't do it. I mean, you're not fucking eighty years old. You're you know you'll figure this stuff out. I know you're thinking, oh, I've never used Telegram. I've never used a trading bot. We get it. It's all very hard. Your life is very hard. Uh, but these guys have made a bot especially for you to make life easier, to make your to make your trading more efficient, more effective. So why the hell are you not using it? Put put it to use. Just try it out, and it's you will just figure it out pretty quickly. It's not that hard. You don't need an IQ of over 140. While it does help, you don't need it. 
so let's go ahead and, and, and just set a, a limit order. In this case, I'm using a Sturdy as an example. Uh, this is an example. It's not financial advice, even though I think Sturdy will make you freaking rich, but it's not financial advice, okay? Uh, so don't buy it. Not because I told you to. Anyway, um, so with any with any Telegram uh, trading bot you're going to use, you're going to have to use the uh, CA, the contract address. Uh, you can find it on any popular platform. You can see it. You can find it on Dex Tools. You can find it on Dex Screener. You can even find it on places like CoinGecko, uh, which is this uh, contract address here. On Dex Screener, you will find it over here, the second one. And then on Dex Tools, you'll be able to find it right over here. So just go ahead and copy it, paste it into your um, conversation with the bot. You'll be able to find all the relevant information, price, market cap, liquidity, taxes, stuff like that, all the usual stuff. Uh, do know that market cap will differ between platforms, between websites. This isn't a uh, uh, an exception uh, bug. It is not. Sometimes you get the the the, uh, the FDV, the fully uh, diluted valuation, uh, and market cap. Just I, I don't know. It's just all over the place most of the time. Look on on Dex Screener, it's uh, eight point thirty nine. Then on Dex uh, Dex Tool, sorry, eight point thirty nine. Then on Dex Screener, it's going to be twelve point three, right? So it's it's kind of all over the place. So don't spend too much time on it. For now, I'm going to show you a limit order. It's really, 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 really simple. Limit order, you can switch between either buying the dip, setting a stop loss or taking profit, and it'll show you which one you have selected by highlighting the option with a green check mark. I mean, it cannot get any easier than this, uh, guys. So we want to buy the dip. We have our wallet selected, which you've already done if you've set up your exception trading bond. You can choose between either buying a, an X amount of uh, the sturdy, a sturdy uh, token or you can choose to spend X amount of ETH. So in this case, we're going to spend ETH. We're going to select uh, 0 0.1 in this uh, particular case. I want to buy for 0.1 ETH. You can set the price you want to buy at, or you can set the uh, the market cap you want to buy at. I'm a big, uh, big proponent of uh, just setting a specific price. Um, and the reason for that is because we're charting coins. So let's say we're charting uh, sturdy in this case. This hasn't happened yet. And I really want to buy the, the retest of these highs over here, right? Because we get the structure forming. Uh, you could call this a potential bull flag, uh, ascending triangle. We get the break through all the highs over here. So this is definitely relevant. And I want to be buying a retest of the high over here. So in this particular case, I would go to horizontal line, set it over here like so. As you'll see, the price is uh, 1.03863. So that is exactly the price I'm going to set it at. I'll choose dollar because I'm setting the price in dollar value. Um, 863, go ahead and press enter. It has set the price uh, accordingly. You can select your slippage. Uh, trading on chain comes with high slippage, but in um, in this particular example, you don't have to set it to thirty. Doesn't that doesn't make much uh, sense? I'll set it to five. And do know that this is the maximum uh, allowed slippage. It doesn't mean that'll be the slippage when you uh, when you execute or when the trade is executed. Uh, the duration of the trade, if you just leave it to default, it'll be a, a good till canceled uh, order. So it's going to be it's going to stay in the market on market until you cancel and that is it then you just create order and it's and it's done that is literally all you have to do now you can go to bed not having to check to check the markets uh, all freaking night uh if you go to a menu and then go to um uh, mom, 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 limit order you'll have the active limit orders and it'll be right over here buying the dip on sturdy when price hits this exact price and then I'll be spending uh, 0 0.1 ETH. That is all you have to do. Just get on it. Do it right now. Uh, check out the link in the description box below and, and start setting this up. It's, it's really, really nice. You can do it for every coin you have a contract uh, address for, and you can use it on multiple chains, not just for ETH. You can use it on so on. Every, every popular chain is, uh, is uh, supported. Check it out. Link in the description box below, and I'll see you back at the charts.
All right, so let's just um, might as well start with uh, with Doge. Doji. Um, why did I enter this trade? I didn't use the 200 day moving average, didn't use anything. Uh, I was expecting a Trump win, and I think with uh, Trump in office, uh, it's going to be really good for Elon Musk. Elon Musk has obviously endorsed Trump. Uh, he's, uh, he has been donating, or he's donated, I think, $45 million, uh, a month to his campaign. He's an obvious Trump fan, which is, which is all fine. Um, and uh, Trump is a really big fan of Musk, too. Um, you don't see Musk, uh, you don't see Musk tweeting about Doge a lot anymore, but I still think this is a no-brainer trade. Uh, but I didn't just enter randomly. Uh, I still stuck to my system, which you should too. Um, the trade or the entry was um, based on these highs here. As you can see, we have the high over here. We have these highs. And we have this basic structure here. Wanted to enter on the last high pre-breakout, which is this high here, uh, marked in blue. Uh, we get the entry and then we just take off, right? I mean, we didn't take off because this was the magical entry. We took off because of fundamentals, uh, but we got a, a very, very nice entry. I tried to uh, add to the trade here but unfortunately we didn't uh, we didn't get to do so uh, i just told you i will be adding to the trade um, around this level here so we'll see what we get my current take profit is uh is uh, basically all-time highs uh, i will be taking part of the uh, trade off the table part of my profits off the table uh, around these uh, highs here which is 35 cents which I think we'll be able to get this week. Um, so yeah, let's see what uh, let's see what happens with that. Uh, been long Bitcoin as well. Uh, I don't know what the exact level was. I think it was seventy four or something. Uh, the level we discussed in uh, on the stream uh, uh, a few weeks ago uh, with the confirmation candle here. I just market bought Bitcoin and uh, well things things are looking uh, things are looking good. Um, targets for Bitcoin are are difficult. You could use use Fibonacci. Again, I'm not a, a real really big fan of Fibonacci, but to determine price targets, they could be useful because if if um, if an asset is in price discovery, there really isn't much else to use but Fibonacci. Uh, so you could be looking at eighty nine thousand dollars. You could be looking at one hundred and fourteen thousand uh, dollars, which seem pretty pretty realistic. Um, so yeah, keep those uh, keep those targets in mind. Eighty nine thousand and one hundred and fourteen thousand uh, for Bitcoin uh, shouldn't be taking too long. I really think we can see these prices pretty fast. Uh, crypto are just really really fast moving markets uh ether also got a really nice entry on uh, on uh, on ether um as you know this is a uh, this was or is a a huge level i've been looking to short ether for a, a very long time never got the uh the trigger uh, but did get the the long trigger we got this beautiful fucking textbook um uh, support line over here support level over here uh, again, I've said this many times. At this point, it is potential support. At this point, it is probably support. At this point, it is most likely support. Price trades back all the way, comes down. I mean, at this point, we just know this this is support, right? Um, so when price breaks through the support level, chances are pretty big it's going to turn into resistance. And as you can see, it does. Comes back down. Tags... Um, Tags actually the uh, diagonal support line comes back up. Can reach the uh, previous uh, resistance. Can reach it here. Can reach it here. <coughs> Buyers are just stepping in too quickly. But then here we get the breakout. Um, usually I I uh, get my signals from the daily chart when uh, when I'm waiting for breakouts um, on crypto. I take uh, my signals on the four hour quite a lot of uh, of time of times. 
and I uh, entered the trade on this second four hour close above the uh, above the uh, uh, resistance level of 2800. So I'm currently still in uh, in ETH waiting um, waiting to see what happens here trading it up to 4,000 uh, for sure. Um, as in, I, I'm not sure it's going to tag 4,000, but I am sure I want to I wanna stick to the trade uh, until uh, 4,000 is, um, is reached. Uh, what happens a lot of times is that ETH just becomes the most hated rally, right? We all know people who've been stuck in ETH for just forever and everything is just going up and up and up and ETH is just lagging and you don't know what the fuck to do when you've got ETH NFTs and you got everything in ETH and you're just thinking, God, why the fuck did I not buy anything else, literally anything else? But no, you're stuck in uh, you're stuck in ETH instead of um, instead of Solana like an idiot uh, and an actual boomer. But uh, then ETH uh, does this thing where it just surpasses all time high in like three days, right? So um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, this is a this is a uh, this is an important point. So I want to make sure you uh, listen carefully. If you trade classical chart patterns and their breakouts, right? <clears throat> so there is the um, there is the inverse head and shoulders. There is the rectangle. So just really, really basic. Again, the rectangle. I mean, rectangle is literally a rectangle, right? So you get a rectangle structure. You get price bouncing in between. Then you get the breakout, right? This is the breakout from a rectangle. If price breaks out of a pattern like this, chances are really slim you're going to get a retest of the upper uh, boundary of the uh, of the pattern of the rectangle. Uh, so you're best off buying the actual breakout candle uh, when it comes to trading a rectangle. Now, that is not the case with uh, with all chart patterns. If you're trading a an inverse head and shoulders, right, which is don't laugh. Don't fuck. Don't you fucking laugh. This is way too easy. I mean, this is this is really this is too low even for you. Don't laugh at this, right? This is very serious stuff. This is serious material. You get the inverse head and shoulders, uh, or the cock and balls. Um, you usually get a uh, breakout and then a retest of the neckline. So if price breaks out of this here, you usually will get a retest of the neckline, which is a very good entry point. Uh, and a perfect example for that is my current uh, FTM trade, which we have over here. So you get the inverse head and shoulders, right? Really, really stands out. It's a great, great bottoming structure. You get the breakout over here. Now you could have positioned long at this breakout candle, um, but I specifically waited for a retest of the neckline, which we get over here at this candle. So this was my entry, which is really, really nice. Ah, it's such a beautiful, beautiful entry. So we're up on this uh, almost 50%, which is very nice. Um, just uh, gonna wait and see what happens. Um, while I am not of the opinion every single alt will have a new all-time high every single cycle, I definitely don't believe that. So I do not think you should aim for new all-time highs on every single coin in every single position you hold. Uh, I do think you're better off taking profits along the way, which I'll be doing um, at these highs. Um, but I'll definitely definitely leave a small position uh, running to see how far we can get. But this is um, th these are highs I'm uh, willing to start taking some profit at. Uh, again, I get the whole idea. We're in a bull market. Everything is going up. Everything is up, 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 up. So why would you sell before we've reached new all time highs? But I've just told you, I don't think we get all time highs on every single coin. Um, so that is my uh, reasoning for that. Uh, waiting to see what happens. Uh, but this is a very, very nice trade. I will be looking to add to this trade once we break out of these highs over here. So while these highs are important to me, I want to see 
price action develop like uh, so and then look to retest this level here which i will then buy uh, so that is phantom looking good looking good looking good coincidentally it is the exact same trade i took on google we get the beautiful inverse head and shoulders very nice very nice structure price breaks out uh, aggressively so of course i think fuck well i'm i'm not in this trade i'm not gonna get my entry uh still waited for it patiently wanted to see a retest of the neckline so right over here uh, and you can find it on my Twitter feed. I was long uh, Google uh, at this level here. Uh, looking really good. It's just looking really good. Nothing to add. Going to trade it to here. Oh, this was, damn, this is a pretty horizontal uh, line. It's all freehand, baby. This is uh, impressive, even for me. Anyway, uh, see what uh, see what we get. I do think we'll be able to get or to hit many of these targets uh, this week. Then we have Solana. Uh, Solana is also looking uh, good. We uh, got a pretty nasty rejection here earlier this evening, uh, which made the daily candle, this one right over here, uh, started to look like a nasty uh, shooting star. A shooting star is a candle with a long wick and then a relatively small body um which means price traded all the way up to here but then got rejected because of sellers stepping in aggressively to push price back down now uh as i've told you before i don't trade or pay much attention to uh, individual uh, candlesticks but context is important uh if you get a if you get a um if you get a shooting star which is a bearish uh bearish uh, candlestick just randomly somewhere right like let's say you'd, you'd have one over here uh, which is completely completely insignificant but then you get one over here as well right you get price trading up 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 for a lot of days and then you get this bearish shooting star over there this is important because it is now a swing fill pattern uh, I'm not going to go into what a swing full pattern is, but um, I've, I think I've already explained that to you in a different episode. Anyway, so you get the high, right? It's a swing high, and we're pushing back up to the previous swing high. Uh, price tries to break uh, above, but gets rejected and closes down below this high, lower than this high, which makes it a swing full pattern, and it is also a, uh, a shooting star. This, in this case, particular case this would have been uh, bearish would have given me a bearish bias for the days ahead uh where a um where a potential uh, correction or flush uh, could have happened which it in this case did but that is of course hindsight bias uh however even though it started to look like a, a bearish uh, shooting star it is being uh, bought up it is being saved and that is what we want to see Keep in mind, really, really, really get it through your thick ass skull. If this is a bull market, if this is an actual, well, it is, but if it's a bull market that will hold, um, do you want to see buyers stepping in? Do you want to see buyers stepping in aggressively and frequent, frequently? So uh, dips should be shallow and dips should be bought up it's the famous uh, dalai lama candle right the v-shaped recovery that is the type of market structure you want to see if you start seeing the slow drift of death you know where we go down like 20 30 40 percent and there's just no buyer stepping in that is not a good that is not a good sign in bull markets where people are sidelined people want to buy people want to buy dips they want to get involved and involvement is shown on charts it's really you know you can hear me talking i hear myself talking sometimes and think yeah that, that kind of makes sense but in reality uh it is uh it is more difficult to put into practice 
but uh, yeah that is what that is what you want to see i will be buying dips on solana if we get it uh, around here and here because we have a nice little uh thrust candle with naked levels uh this level isn't naked and i i i prefer to buy naked levels a naked level is simply a um level that is not that that hasn't been retested yet uh so for instance you have this uh high over here right uh price breaks through these highs and then is not retested yet um so um yeah make it in a making it a a naked level uh, this is not a naked level anymore because it's been retested by this candle and this candle here uh, so i won't be looking to buy this probably however you could go on the daily uh and say well look on the daily it is it is still a naked level because it hasn't been retested which is true but you got to be consistent you can go and say look i always trade the four hour or the one hour but uh you know on the one hour it's not a naked level so i'm just gonna go and see if it's naked on the daily oh it is well that's really nice so then i'll just still uh, uh, buy it you got to be consistent always do the same thing because if you don't you'll never know what works and what doesn't uh, so i'll be buying uh, this level over uh, over here because it is it is a, a naked level um yeah yeah it is that is a naked level um but yeah in general you just you just want to see bullish market structure uh um hold right so the the higher lows higher highs once we actually start closing down and put in high, uh, lower highs and lower lows you know we're in for a a, a bad time uh, and then we get tesla as well tesla with the same structure we got the inverse head and shoulders um this is a chart i did buy the actual breakout candle uh because i'm not expecting a uh, a pullback here uh to the to the neckline if it does if it does trade back all the way down to 270 or so i'll be uh, i'll be buying this full on um reasoning is the same as for the uh, doge trade i think anything with elon's name on it right now is a no brainer trade I could be wrong completely as i've said many many times i'm not a fundamental trader but it just it just feels like this just makes sense right i mean he's he's probably going to be in office <laughs> um yeah so i don't know it, it just makes a lot of sense to me to be in in tesla and to be in in doge right now uh, but we'll see if that uh if that idea holds um i'm trading this to uh to around 400 uh 400 414 uh which is the uh we, we, which will complete the inverse head and shoulder um pattern uh so yeah that is uh, that is it for now uh guys we have uh, we have uh, russell 2000 as well just to uh, wrap things up actually we have one one more uh after this one uh russell 2000 looking like a, a very very nice setup it's a uh, ascending triangle very very basic stuff very easy very easy to spot as well uh you have the equal highs over here right so sellers are stepping in at the same price uh, but, but buyers are willing to step in uh at higher and higher prices which is usually bullish uh price breaks out of it, out of this structure uh so you could either position at the breakout candle um but because this is a uh, a triangle ascending triangle i'm expecting to price retest the uh, breakout level which is going to be around here uh, if it doesn't it doesn't no worries at all there's always opportunity always other trades to be taken uh, and i'll be trading this up until uh, 2600 i want to go over uh i just posted this one on uh, twitter this is looking really good to me as well uh, it's just a chart that that jumps out at me um it it, it doesn't have any uh, classical chart patterns it doesn't have any thrust candles through key levels yet uh but it's just a chart that i look at it and i it's just a trade that that jumps at me 
uh, and in my personal experience, trades that jump at you just work way be better than the trades you have to look for. In general, you don't really have to look for trades, you just have to look at charts and the trades should jump out at you. Uh, but here you get the the multiple tests, right? There's there's countless of of tests of these highs, and we just fail every single time. Uh, and it's a nice support resistance flip level, so we get support. Kind of these lows are support as well. We get support here. We get support here, and then we get the breakthrough support, right? Uh, which turns it into resistance. Now when it breaks this. Uh, I am going to step in and be a buyer, uh, add around here, and then trade it up until here. This really looks, well, it doesn't really look like it, but it gives me the same feeling as this uh, ETH chart, um, which is a, a really good trade as well, but it kind of kind of looks the same. It's the same structure. Uh, we've been over this, so I don't have to go over it again, but you get the, you get the gist. And then to, uh, uh, oh yeah, no, 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 shit, there's, there's actually two more. Uh, NGL, I've been over this uh, a few times already. This is a, again, classic inverse head and shoulders. Um, I'm going to see this break within maybe 48 hours, unless we get a really strong rejection, rejection here. Uh, NGL is up over 40% today alone. Uh, so we could see another rejection. But if price breaks through, I will definitely step in and be a buyer. Uh, same goes for this, same, same as the Wu trade. Uh, I'll be buying at a uh, confirmation, daily confirmation breakthrough. And then the retest again of this uh, level here and trade it up until uh, 20 cents, which is a, a big trade, which is a big trade. Um, yeah, so 120%. That is, a, that is a good trade, but very realistic in my humble opinion. So definitely keep an eye on NGO. Uh, you can't say that I didn't tell you. Fuck, you know, I keep forgetting things, man. In, uh, Injective is also looking pretty good. Um, it's not the best looking chart in my opinion, but it's been um, in, a, uh, in a downtrend for quite some time. Uh, and we finally get the break out of the uh, channel. We get a break out of the channel. We get a break above the 200 day moving average. And we get a break above these highs over here. Uh, right now, the daily hasn't closed yet. We have 44 minutes left. Uh, if it does trade down a little more uh, and close below this one here, uh, uh, less less of a good look but all in all it's still looking uh, it's still looking pretty good i probably want to see it test uh this high here as well because this jesus christ because this is uh, slightly more important because it's the uh the support resistance flip level uh, but if we get something like like this that would be good and then start trading back up Trade this retest up until this high over here. Uh, so yeah, this would be a uh, almost a forty percent move, which is obviously significant. And then you get this one, which is also a sixty-three percent move. So definitely keep an eye on Injective as well. And then we get the uh, BNB chart. I've been over this many many times before. It's looking really good. I mean. Even though the moves uh, within uh, this this uh, structure here have been significant, I mean it's like forty percent or something from top to bottom. So while yeah, while there's definitely been some volatility, if you zoom out and check uh, and check the uh, the weekly chart, there hasn't been much of a correction. Uh, while it is just consolidating right below massive resistance. So if it does eventually break out, this is going to be a, a very, a very good trade to me personally. I think you could even position long here already because I do think that all these highs here uh, carry significance with them as well. And this is uh, possibly the first relevant break out of those highs. Uh, and we even got the uh, retest of the last high pre-breakout, which is 
this this is the last high pre breakout uh, it's retested here got a pretty significant reaction off of this level level tw twice already uh, so we'll see what uh, we'll see what happens uh, I'm personally not in this market yet uh, even though I think you could position already I'm going to wait for a clear and confirmed breakout out of the 700 price level um so yeah and keep in mind this is a this is a three year old rectangle um so yeah the the breakout can be uh, uh can be can be significant and can be uh fast so uh, keep an eye out uh yeah that is uh that is it for the charts uh, for now guys if you have any um requests any charts you want me to look at just just drop them in the comments drop them on twitter drop them in my dm just slide right in um always fun to look at other charts um right so let's move on to the uh trader talk all right guys uh trader talk q a time question of today is what is the biggest mistake you've ever made in trading and more importantly what have you learned from it um so while i did kind of go over the whole uh, ftx thing uh, th man, i was gonna say thang thing last week um you could of course quite easily argue that putting all your money on one exchange is a uh, huge mistake and while i do agree with that it's not really a uh, it's not a f i can tell you that i learned that you know putting all your money on one exchange is the the the, the biggest uh takeaway i've learned from uh, that experience but you can't really do fucking anything with that so uh, let's do uh, something else the biggest mistakes i have made in trading is um getting overconfident in bull markets and i think this is very relevant for the for for the current uh for the current market conditions while i completely agree that again you should be right and then sit tight and that most of your I gotta sneeze. Most of your um, profit is made on a small amount of trades that just keep on going and going and going. You've you've gotta you've gotta be able to feel the pulse of the market. Um, there's a few there's a few things you you have to understand, right? Your biggest profits usually come at the end of a uh, parabolic move which makes sense right i mean just imagine a fucking parabolic curve uh, it's going to be the most vertical at the end so at the end of the cycle you're going to get the most gains the more the most uh the most profit but with that comes the most cockiness the most conviction uh the mo every everybody's a genius right everybody knows like this is going to keep going up and up and up and it makes sense i mean you're so you're so fucking happy right it, it just makes sense. you wake up you check your portfolio it's up again and it's it's sometimes it's just up by ridiculous amounts you don't want this to end but it always 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 does it every single time it ends and it usually ends really really abruptly and really ugly and what what often happens is you'll be buying dips right you'll be buying more dips and more dips and more dips and i've done this many many times and the dips just keep on dipping and dipping and dipping and because you're just so freaking blinded by greed and and your absolute conviction in the bull market that'll never end you're completely missing the fact that we've broken market structure. We're we're below significant support levels. We're b below uh, significant uh, longer term uh, moving averages if you use them. You're missing the fact that everyone on Twitter is extremely bullish. You're missing the fact that um, Coinbase is now the most downloaded app in, uh, on the App Store. You've missed the fact that you're. Uh, neighbors and your mother-in-law and your teacher and your nurse are all asking you where to buy bitcoin and if they should buy shiba inu token or doge you're missing i mean you're not missing that because you're you're involved in these markets and you're helping people and you're asking uh, answering questions 
and that is that is that is good because it, it feeds your love for the game but you're not seeing them for the signals that they are and i've done that m too many times in the past uh, and the thing is, every cycle, especially in crypto, is slightly different than the one before that. Uh, so you think, all right, fuck, I didn't nail this cycle exactly the way I wanted it to, but I did pretty good, but I know where I fucked up, so next time this isn't going to happen to me. And that's true. <laughs> next time you're not making the same mistake. I mean, you, you can make the same mistake, but you're not making them because of the exact same reasons, right? So... So the cause can can be different, but the effect is exactly the same. Um, so my, my biggest takeaway uh, was in the past that one, whenever you start showing your profits to other people, it's almost always a really, really good time to at least be booking a lot of profit. Um, two, when uh, Coinbase becomes one of the most downloaded apps on the App Store. It is probably a good time to take a lot of profit. Every market is a little bit, uh, every market cycle is a little bit different than the one before that. So don't be looking for the exact same cues to exit. Always have a plan beforehand. Always. And I know this, I know you're not going to make a plan. I've, n I've not made plans as well for many, many years. I've always thought, you know, I'm just going to do it by feel, just the way. You know what's funny? <laughs> we have this joke in our home, right? Where my, my girlfriend doesn't really cook a lot, but when she does, she cooks by feel, uh, which is funny to me because I don't think you can do things by feel if you're not extremely either talented or uh, experienced in the things in, in, in this particular thing that you're doing. Uh, yeah, your, your intuition isn't worth much because you're an absolute beginner at, at, at this uh, thing you're doing. Same goes for trading, right? Like beginning traders just go like, no, I'm just going to trade by feel, bro. But really, your, your feeling, your, your gut feel is based on absolutely nothing. You're, you're completely clueless. Uh, so have a plan, right? And what, uh, it could, could be really basic. Just if, if you're into debt, if, if, uh, if your current unrealized profit could actually change your life, and not just your life, but from the ones you love or your family or what, whatever, and if it can change multiple lives, it's it's probably a good time to start booking some profits. This can be life changing uh, both ways. It can either completely, completely fuck you up, uh, or it can lift you up much, much, much higher. Um, so yeah, that is uh, that is uh, something that I haven't done in the past. Um, not always, not too good. Uh, luckily, I've gotten way better, way better at all, all of this. So I haven't uh, made these mistakes for uh, a few years now, which is good. But um, yeah, that is, uh, that is all for now, guys. Uh, I'm wishing you a, uh, a really good trading week ahead. Let's hope this, this bullish momentum keeps going. Uh, really appreciate you being here again. Appreciate you sticking around. Please uh, leave a comment if you can, uh, drop a like um, and, and, and do subscribe. I really, really appreciate it and it helps out a lot. And I'll see you uh, back here at the charts next week.